the hot drink vending machine. These days, you'll find it everywhere. And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. December 16th, 1884, 134 years ago today, the day William Henry Fruin of Minneapolis patented his automatic liquid drawing device. Designed for some reason to look like a building, Fruin's device dispensed mineral water upon the deposit of a coin, making it America's first patented vending machine. The first, but hardly the last. Over the decades, of course, vending machines of ever-increasing complexity and variety have become a familiar sight across our land. So familiar that a vending machine even figured into Stanley Kubrick's 1964 nuclear war comedy, Dr. Strangelove. In need of small change to make a payphone call to the president, Peter Sellers implores Keenan Wynn to open fire. But if you don't get the president of the United States on that phone, you know what's going to happen to you? What? You're going to have to answer to the Coca-Cola company. Most transactions go far more smoothly than that, of course. Today, vending machines dispense all sorts of products, particularly in Japan, where the variety of foods and drinks and goods on offer is legendary. With all due respect to that first machine, these days, it's a lot more than mineral water. <laughs> 